Could you create search box in Excel using conditional formatting? If not, this video is for you. Watch this video till the end. Namaste everyone, I am Sagar Banzade from ER.pedia. Now without any delay, let's dive into the video. Here you can see I have already designed the table where I have taken the order date, region, the representative item, units, unit cost and the total. And I use this table in order to create the source button. Here I have already created the source uh, by using the conditional formatting. Whenever I type by region or representative or item, it will automatically shows the data here. And I'll type here is Smith and click enter. You can see here the data has been searched and it and it has highlighted the data where the Smith is available. Now when you type here waste, you can clearly see the result here. This how a search button works. Now in this video we will learn to create such search button by using the conditional formatting. First I'll delete this. Yes. First you have to select this cell and type here search. You can even change the background color from here and pick up any color you want to. Now I'll give this formatting uh, to all border here. Now I want to search item. I want to place the search item here. Yes. Uh, for that you have to select your table like this. The one thing you have to remember is that while selecting the table you should not select the header. Yes. This part you should not select. Now remain in the home. Go to this home. Here, here there is a conditional formatting. Click on this conditional formatting. Here click the new rule. New formatting rule dialog box will pop up. And here you have to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here you have to write your formula. Here now we will write our formula. Type here equal and type search. Now, open the parenthesis. Now here you have to select cell address. First you have to select this cell address. Yes. Then give comma. Now you have to select the first data of database of each column one by one. It means you have to select all these cell one by one. Here I want to source the item by region representative in item. So I will select these three only. And if you want to select the order date, then you have to start from this one order date. Yes, uh, but I want to search by region. So I will select this center here and press F4 twice because we only log the column and we use the ampersand sign here in order to concatenate and press F4 twice and again type ampersand sign here and this one press F4. And close this bracket. If you want uh, to source the data by unit, unit cost in total, you have to select the first cell one by one and use the ampersand sign at the middle. Yes. Now, after that, click on this format and click on this field and select the color you want to highlight. Yes. So I'll select the green here and I also want to change the font. So go to this font here, I select this bold and the color is white click on this ok and now click on this here ok now the data has been selected yes you see the mistake here if there is nothing available if the cell is empty then all the cell has been highlighted but if you type here smith and click on this enter the only the data where smith is available is highlighted so the defect needs to be eliminated for that again copy this whole table and go to this conditional formatting click on this manage rule yes and here you have to select this worksheet our formula which we want to be edit then click on this edit here you have to use if functions here a type if is blank type here is blank and you have to select this cell and close this parenthesis if this cell is blank then it will show nothing yes it won't search anything but if the cell is not blank 
then it will search the item and highlight the the item then close this parenthesis here and click on this ok and apply this click on this ok done if there is nothing available then it won't select anything but if something is available then it will search and highlighted the item this is how this search box works in excel and i have explained in a detailed way by using the conditional formatting if you still have any problem let me know in the comment sections if you have any excel related work directly message me on the instagram this much in this video thank you for watching my video